Let's take a look at adding to what we went over in the first video. So if you get your initial setup, and we'll basically break this down, but just add another pin to the uh, equation. So if we take a look at our pins, and let me back up to our feed group. So in our first feed group, we just had one pin. Now I added an additional pin by going in and going um, and editing. And if you tap add a pin, you can. But in this scenario, since I've already added it, I do not need to, um, or I can't add a pin number three because I do not have a new one created. So if I went, for example, and I went over to pins, and if I added a new feed group, I could go pin three, and then put in a head count. If I put in 50 there, and then go done, I would new. I would have a new pin there. Um, and then if I go to feed group. Here's what I have selected. I have one and two, and I can go edit and add an additional pen if I want. So I'd have pen three, but in this scenario I won't. I'll go cancel. Okay, so now we have pen one and pen two. I'm going to go done here, and we'll take a look at those pens. So I can edit pin one, which I did initially. I changed the head count from 100 to 50, as you see there, and I left the 30 pounds per each head done. I go to pin two, and I added, we'll take a look in here. So I basically broke up pin one into two separate pins. So now I have pin one and pin two that will go into the first feeding. So you can look here and see that it has 30 pounds per head, 30 pounds per head. So my overall, the 3,000 pounds, will come out exactly the same, except for my first loading, or the loading will be 3,000, but my first feeding will be 1,500, and my second feeding will be 1,500. So we'll take a look at that on the main display here. I'll go through this quickly. I couldn't get a feed truck in my office, so bear with me. Ration one, 3,000 pounds. All right, let's start loading our ingredients. Oops, I went a little past. I'll back off here. Okay, next. I'm just using a dial simulator. I'll go next, move on to my last ingredient. The end button will show up there, as I mentioned earlier, but just a refresher. go in and then now I can start the feeding process so I just want to make sure that I'm on my feed group the correct one uh, which I am because I only have one feed group and that consists of two separate pins so just make sure that you remember the feed group is associated with specific pins that you want to feed so now I'm going to go ahead and feed so I'll hit that button we have the 1500 pounds going to pin one and you'll see that pin two is next. So adjust my dial. 
turning it back. Okay, pretty close. Go next. You can see that we're on pen two. But if you notice the mixer, you notice the target at the top, you notice the gross pounds on how close I am to hitting my target. You can see the red bar light up when I go a little bit over. Okay, and then I'll just push end, okay? And then from here, I can view my transaction. So if I go to on that bottom panel there and tap on the pen tab, I can go into pen two and I can view what I just fed. So it has the 1230 time on there with today's date. And then if I look, I can see and one on there as well in the time and how close I got. So from here, I can email the information out and it'll go the day before and then it will go the end date of the 29th. I'll go done and then I can send that information out as a CSV or a uh, DMI, dry matter intake file, and open it up in Excel.